Hi, welcome to um, another instructional video. Um, this one's going to be Lead Me to the Cross. A lot of acoustic guitar players uh, really, really enjoy playing this song. There's a couple tricks to playing this song that really make it sound really, really good. So I want to show you a couple of the tricks and kind of show you how I've learned to play it off of the original Hillsong United recording. And hopefully you'll be able to grab some of these tricks and uh, apply it to when you lead worship or when you play at your church. So first of all, we got to talk about Lead Me to the Cross. It's in the key of C. It's actually in the key of D on the recording, but the guitarist plays C shapes and he capos the second fret. So in order to get all the hammer-ons and all the, the tricks and all the voicings, a lot of the new Hillsong tunes are actually C voicings and then they capo appropriately. So I'm going to show you the C voicings and then uh, we'll get into the, the chord structure. So we'll start out and I'm going to move my uh, camera here and I'm going to show you um, some of the voicings first. So we're going to talk about this. Um, here's your A minor. Everybody knows basic A minor. Okay, that's the first chord of Lead Me to the Cross. We'll come back and show you the trick to A minor. The second one is what I call their G voicing. <coughs> it's actually a G suspended four. You got your ring finger here on the third fret of the sixth string, and you have your pinky finger on the first string third fret. So you have that. Your and you have your first finger back here. That's the sus four on the first fret of the second string. Now it's very important that when you do this voicing that you mute the fifth string. It's got to be dead. So you get this sound. Okay. The next voicing um, is an F major seven. Um, they don't usually play the regular F. They play an F major seven, give it more of a ringing sound. So if you want to play an F major seven, there's a couple ways. First of all, instead of playing an F and, and grabbing two strings with this finger, you just grab the second string and leave the first string open. <coughs> so you can do it that way. You can also add a couple of the bass strings. You can move your ring finger down a string and put your pinky where your ring finger was. So you get like a C bass. It gives it a little thicker sound. And then if you're really, really adventurous, you can wrap your thumb around and pinch right here with the fatty part of your thumb the first fret of the sixth string and get a bass. So you can actually get a sixth string F major seven without barring. Okay, and then their C voicing, actually they they pedal this note, which is the third fret of the of the first string. So they play a C, but they instead of playing a regular old folksy C, they have this in there, and they also have their ring finger down here hitting both strings, which you don't have to do, but technically that makes it a C over G. But there's the C voicing. It's a nice six string, um, not a five string chord, but a six string chord. So you have that. And then their little walk down is a G over B, but we still have the sus four back here. So here's your G over B. Your sus four back here still your first finger first fret second string so let's put all that together on the intro again okay and that's the verse progression as well now the little trick to the intro is a hammer on on the A minor so you have your A minor, but what the trick is, there's two hammer-ons. One on the fourth string, from open to second fret. One on the third string, from open to second fret. Okay? So you want it to sound like... You want it to sound like that, but while you're strumming, so you're just strumming downs. So it's... Just down, 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 and the movement happens by the hammer on, not by strumming. So, all right. So your intro is. Now 
this chord is in D minor 7. Of course, you'll be capo 2, but at the time, it would be D minor 7. So it's like your normal D minor 7. Two strings with one finger, third string, second fret. G form, once held dear, A minor form, F major 7. And the chorus is the same. Same voicing is just a different order. It starts with the F major 7. So the chorus, lead me to the cross where you That's it. That's how you play. Lead me to the cross. I hope that helped you today, and uh, you know, keep working on it. Um, I remember those voicings, and those are in a lot of the modern Hillsong tunes. They're in, it's a desert song. It's in some of the other songs that are, um, are are being played a lot right now in churches. So learn those C voicings and use them as much as you can uh, in worship. The C voicings are really nice, especially if you can get six strings ringing in a C chord or in an F major seven chord. It really sounds full on your guitar. So give it a shot, keep working, and uh, hope it helps. Thanks.